I'm for sure, like without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best female rappers in the country. But that's because there's like less than 20 that anybody knows anywhere. Like, and that's not a diss to any, you know, rapper that's trying to do it out here. But that's just because our scene does not create space for anybody else to be known. My name is Sadani. I'm a rapper, a mom, and a community organizer, facilitator, person. <laughs> Modify your air, safe, breathe, I trust, purge, purify, I'm dry, die, my lust, fill me, fill me, energy, fill me, fill me, energy. I've been a creative person making music for a really long time since I was in elementary school. In just the journey that brought me to being um, a teenager living on my own, um, I had always used music and um, just creativity as an outlet to like, I guess, counter the bullshit and other fun things that were going on in my life. My mixtape, my first mixtape was before I had my daughter. And um, just again, always using creativity as a means to just like ground myself and find some balance in my life. Get a smile. I remember being young and insecure. Mama never be unsure of your beauty because it comes from inside. Most of us have down days, days we don't feel good enough. Shouldn't have to change yourself even if you cut enough. Black girl. I feel really fortunate to be an artist because it allows me the space to constant, constantly be like re-evaluating who I am and like challenging what aspects of myself I'm presenting to people. Like I'm still in a place of self-acceptance and like accepting all of where my identity meets in being, you know what I mean? A single mo black mom from the hood, you know what I mean? Identifying as queer, you know what I mean? Like, and how so many experiences come out of like just those five, you know, but just like carrying a lot of like shame and guilt within those like different intersections and how they just build up these expectations of who I'm supposed to be. The parts of myself that are the most authentic, the parts of myself that are the most valuable to my creative process, to like me trying to brand myself or build some kind of like identity that can be monetized. Like are the parts of myself that I run away from or the parts of myself that I hide, the parts of myself that like I don't want people to know exist. You know, we're in the time where like authenticity is the coaching you know what i mean like once i i'm able to identify that i've been the most true that i can be in this story that's how i know like okay well i'm like this art is like almost ready like i'm ready to present this to somebody like i'm still always trying to tell my story i think at home because I was raised by the streets and I was raised by the realest so if you real then you feel this and I ain't holding no feelings because I'm on um, by yeah. not creating space for you know anybody who is not a cis man in the Canadian industry we're literally like losing opportunity for our scene to grow nothing is sustainable with an overabundance of one energy there has to be balance and in order for our scene to thrive in order for our scene to grow it can't just be one thing it's like it's like lays original to ketchup chips it's not that spicy it's not that you need we need more diversity flavor you know what i mean more options canada <laughs>